take a rabbit here. Um, got some coffee, and um, we have the patient. So this is the Xbox controller. And, um, I think what happened is that it crashed on the floor, or it's been crashed on the floor too many times, and then uh, this button here doesn't really um, move very precisely. It kind of jumps over to, or is jammed in one position. So I have to try and um, check how to fix that. So let's get it. So uh, here we are with the Xbox controller, and I've been looking at it. And actually, I have not looked at any YouTube videos or anything how to open this, <laughs> which I should probably do. So if we can't get it open uh, pretty easily, then uh, I think I will have to turn to some videos online and see. But I mean, what I see is I see something maybe in there that one has to push on, and then that looks like a screw underneath there. So my first thing is to open up that area. But to look around for the correct bit for that. So anyway. Now this screwdriver here is part of this kit. Many kits on the market, but I've only been using this one quite successfully. So and it has some um, The only thing is that it, it doesn't have a very good holding mechanism for the extra, for the tools. They, most, they, they tend to fall, fall out very easily. Put those back. There we go. But anyway, here we have a hole. Like in this kit, we have a hole selection here. And then the screwdriver was, was actually there. Not this one. I think it came from there. As I said, the, the mounting mechanism for the rest of the tooling is not that good. But I mean, it has a pretty good set of bits, so I'm going to have to try and find from here a bit that will fit the screw. Well, that sucks. It seems like I don't have anything that will fit that. Let's see if we can get it again into focus. It's like a, a Torx screw but with a, um, a post in the middle. So I actually don't have that, that series of, of screwdrivers that can actually... Oh, it's not really... It's, oh, now you can yeah, you just see the post. So, <laughs> yeah, so now I'm going to have to try and see if I can order one of those screwdrivers. I mean, I know you can get, a whole, you can get them, but I actually don't have any of them. So, so anyway, using the magical video I'll be back so anyway I'm going to um, go out and get one of these iFixit kits so this seem to have the bits we need so let's get it open Side cover. <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat. And then, is this open? 
Oh, look at that. Ha! That's got magnets on the cover. Oh, that's neat. So anyway, here's the new toolkit that I had to purchase because this actually has the the bits that I think they're these, but one of these will fit the um, screw we were looking at. So I'm just going to go through them and try and find the correct size. So anyway, it's this one. It's going to fit on it. So. Ah, it's so much easier when one has the right tools. So that's out. And then let's see how easy this is to open up. So it just doesn't doesn't seem to drop apart at least. So anyway, I'm gonna have to figure out how that comes apart. So anyway, independently of this screw, actually, I was able to uh, remove this um, side plastic here. So you just pull it out, and then it's got these um, hinges on it. So I was able to um, use these two tools to to actually pry it open and, and remove it from the side. So now I got access. To, and then there's two screws, one there and one there, so I'm presumably then one can take the top off. So I'm going to do actually the same thing with this side now. Let's take it, take it off. So that was a bit snap, crackle, pop, but I don't think it broke. Wondering if they actually had a little bit of a, a heat up there. It's a little bit. <laughs> so it could have been that they had a little tiny bit of glue just to, on this edge here, just to you know, make it. No, no. So anyway, let's. Um, Cause I need to get to the other side, so I think we take out the rest of these screws. Same, I think. They should be the same. Yep. I'll just unscrew them. Ah! That was a good thing. <laughs> Lost the screw off the tape. Had to go find. Okay, I found it. I'm putting everything in this <laughs> tin. Hopefully not. Need some more screws. It's a bit hard when working with this. Thought I heard something rattling in. Of course, if there's something that is plastic that can't be glued together or something that's broken, that's... But then I'm going to do a, a trick which I, I'm going to keep this as a spare part, if nothing else. So even if I'm forced to buy a new one, I can actually hopefully repair the next Oh, oh yeah. ah, that comes apart nicely, look at that. So that's the, that part. That is actually quite a lot of electronics. Okay, and then it should be this one. Okay. Okay, that's the vibration. Okay, so that, see the difference, that one moves, 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 but this one, and it locks. 
and it moves okay there. Oh, oh and it locks up. Okay, so there's something. This this one this one has got a nice springy. But this is totally totally screwed. Okay, I'll have to investigate and I will um well that's interesting, that's the vibration things on both sides. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to try and look at that and see. Well, that is definitely not the way it should work. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't a bit... Yeah, good. So what I did is I put the bottom part back on again. Put the batteries in and then um, I went and tested it. And um, our, if I remember from the... The problem I was having is that um, when you, it was continuously pressing to the right, but now when I went and tested it, it seems to actually work. So you can actually test it like this, you can just have it like this and then you can control the Xbox. Um, yeah. So what I think I'm going to do now is to put it completely together and then um, put it into use and see if it starts doing it again. But at least now it stopped. It could have been that there was some garbage or something that got caught in here, so... Because I did blow it out, so... Um, yeah, we'll conclude that as a fix. So anyway, that turned out to be a relatively easy fix. And um, we can thank our friends at iFix. Not sponsored. I wish it was, but... <laughs> uh, Anyway, I hope you found this informative. Um, you know, this is good things to know how to do. I mean, these things around my region, they're about, you know, 40 US dollars for each controller, so, and, and it's, that's a bit expensive. So, if one how can we actually easily take it? And it was actually surprisingly easy to take apart. Uh, that, that, that was quite nice. So, I don't think there's very much risk of breaking it by taking it apart. Anyway, uh, please consider subscribing, um, hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it, um, merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, it would help pay for the um, iFixit tools at least, and um, links are in the comments, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.